Hello viewers, uh, this is the third video uh, in this series. Here again we have uh, 10 questions and these 10 questions are on uh, production and uh, cost. Now let's see how uh, and uh, what are the different questions that we have. Let's solve the next set of uh, 10 questions. The first question that is 21st question for us here is which of the following is considered production in economics? Now let us understand that in economics uh, we clearly d uh, divide the activities that we do into economic activities and uh, non-economic activities. So what are economic activities? Economic activities are those activities which helps us earn money whereas the non-economic activities are those activities which we do for our pleasure. So what happens here is the first one is the tilling of soil. This is done by the farmer and this is a production activity. This is an economic activity. So there is a good chance of this being the answer. Anyway, let us check the other uh, you know, options. Singing a song. Now singing a song by whom? It, there is no clarity given. So we can tell that anybody singing a song. So it might not be for any commercial purpose. Preventing a child from falling. So this is a good job done, but this will this is not an economic activity, this is done out of humanity. So this cannot be the answer for us. The last one is uh, painting a picture. Again, it is not clear who is painting a picture. Is it a professional painter or somebody doing at home for their self-satisfaction? So this also might not be the answer. B is also not the right answer. So the option that is left for us is the tilling of soil. Let's assume that it is by a farmer and it becomes the answer for us. Let's move on to the next uh, question, that is question number 22. The cost of one thing in terms of alternate given up is known as. So the option options given are production cost, physical cost, real cost and opportunity cost. If we remember the definition that we discussed for opportunity cost, we would say that uh, it is the cost incurred by foregoing the second best alternative. So that's the definition. Now let's read the question once again. The cost of one thing in terms of alternate given up. So given up and foregoing means the same. So the uh, answer for this question is option D. The cost of one thing in terms of alternate given up is known as opportunity cost. Right, let's move on to the next question. Question number 23. Which of the following is a function of an entrepreneur? Now who's an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is also a businessman who would start a business with some sort of innovation in it. So what are the options given to us? He initiates the business, that is initiating a business enterprise. Yes, it is done by the entrepreneur. Uh, he bears risk, so that is also uh, done by the entrepreneur. He is innovative in nature, that is also the right answer. So what is the right answer here? The right answer would be all of the above, that is option D. Now. Uh, here is, uh, I'd just like to uh, give a bit of uh, suggestion to y'all. Whenever there is all of the above and none of the above, when we see that in option D, it is always better to read all the options before concluding uh, the final answer. Because uh, if we had selected the first option as soon as we read option A, we would have been wrong. So the moment we see all of the above and none of the above, let's make it a habit to read from uh, the last option that is D, C, B, A. Then if the last one is the option, it becomes very easy to select. Anyway, let's move on to the next question. That is question number 24. Identify the fixed cost from the following. Now let's understand one thing. Uh, fixed cost is a short run concept. Now what do we understand by short? Short run is a time period where few inputs are fixed and few inputs are variable. But when we consider long run, there is no concept of fixed inputs. It is all about being variable. So if you're talking about fixed cost, it is to be assumed that we are considering the short run. Now, now let us look at the options. Labor cost. Now, if you remember the law of variable proportion, uh, we assume that there are only two inputs. One is capital and other is labor. And we keep the capital as constant factor and labor as a variable factor. It means that we keep increasing the labor. If we increase the labor, 
definitely the cost associated with that will also increase so labor is definitely not the option it is not the fixed cost electricity cost we know higher the production higher is the consumption of the electricity so electricity cost is also not the option for us salary of a watchman this has all the features to be uh, to qualify as the answer for this question anyway before finalizing this let us look at the last option that is option d cost of raw material definitely not because as production increases we know that the raw material that we consume also increases and the cost associated with that also increases so this is also not the answer so the answer for this question would be salary of the watchman it remains fixed let's move on to the next question that is question number 25 the difference between average total cost and average variable cost now we know that uh, average cost is equal to average fixed cost plus the average variable cost so here we are uh, the question is what is the the difference between average total cost let's call this as average total cost so average total cost minus the average variable cost so what are we left with we are left with average fixed cost and the answer is uh, d it is it is average fixed cost right let's move on to the next question that is question number 26 marginal cost changes due to changes in if we remember the formula for marginal cost that is mc is equal to tcn minus tcn minus 1 so it is clear that uh, marginal cost changes when there is change in the total cost so the option for us here is total cost is a so the answer for this question is a let's move on to the next question that is question number 27 which one of the following is also known as planning curve this is again a knowledge based question we just have to remember this let's always remember that the long run uh, average cost curve is called is also called the planning curve so the answer for this is long run average cost curve if you remember the diagram the diagram would be something like this this will be the long run average cost curve the other name for that is the planning curve right let's move on question number 28 which of the following is never u shaped average cost curve uh, marginal cost curve average variable cost curve and average fixed cost curve now let's very quickly put all these things uh, in the graph it becomes very easy now how does the average variable cost curve look it is like this it is u how does the average cost curve look it looks like this this is also u how does the marginal cost curve look this is like this so it's also uh, u shaped now how does the average fixed cost curve look it looks like this it it starts uh, here as the uh, production increases what happens with that is it keeps on decreasing it goes very close to the x axis although it doesn't touch with the x axis it goes very close and it never comes up so it is never u shaped so the uh, answer for us is this that is average fixed cost curve is never u shaped let's move on to the next question that is question number 29 tfc plus tvc is equal to this is a very simple uh, you know question that is there for us because we very well know that total cost is the summation of the total fixed cost plus the total variable cost so we have these two given here and uh, so this part should definitely be tc and tc is in option c so the right answer for this is tc let's move on to the last question the last question for us is uh, the technical relationship between input and output is called now uh, we know that uh, uh, input and output are terms that are used in production so if there is something that is connecting these two uh, that should be the production function so the option that is given to us uh, here is uh, option c which tells that it is production function it cannot be demand function because demand function relates the determinants of demand it cannot be supply function because uh, it talks about the determinants of supply it definitely cannot be all of the above because uh, two options are already ruled out so uh, the definite option for us is the production function and that will become the answer so with this we come to the end of uh, the next 10 questions and we have covered production and cost in this thank you so much